Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Terraform Bootcamp or Terraform for Beginners. As you can see on my screen, today we're going to talk about AWS prerequisites. Why we are going to talk about this? Because you need to create infrastructure on AWS and for that you need to do some extra things that we're going to talk about today. And uh, there are three things that you're going to do and we're going to talk about that in the in this video. But before that, kindly subscribe the channel because that would really support me to create more content like this. Alright, so let us dive right into the video. So the first thing that we're going to do in today's video is first of all, we'll create an IAM user. We'll talk about the permissions. We'll talk about the stuff around it. Second, we're going to generate the keys. Why do we need to generate the keys? Because you need to authenticate the user that is going to have some access and that is going to create the infrastructure. And then we're going to talk about what to do if your keys are compromised or lost. So just one more thing I want to tell before moving further in the video in the coding part is whenever you save your credentials in any file in, in I'll, I'm going to show you that uh, in the further videos, do not push those keys to GitHub. Even if you have the repository, do not push them. Just remove them uh, before pushing the code because anyone uh, can get them and if they are compromised, they can use your account and they can really spoil it. All right. So uh, yeah, without further uh, ado, let's dive right into the demo part. Okay, so go to your console. I think I have already told how to create this account. You need to have it. Go to the search part and type I A M. Once you do, this will appear. Create on either you can click create on click on users or you can click on I A M. I'm going to do from here. Let it open. It can take up to some time. Cool. Now here, uh, there are a few things that you can do. You can add an MFA. I have not added it yet. And you can update the access permission of AWS billing, cost management and account consoles. You can do that. I'll do that later. But right now you can see there are zero users created because nobody is using or doing anything about it. All right. So I'll just go to users and I'll click on add users. Here you can give a username. So uh, for this, I'll give Terra form course like this or Terra form bootcamp and after that so there are multiple things available like provide user access to aws management console this and that if you want you can click over that and then uh, if you want you can click on specify a user in identity center recommended i want to create an iams user you can create an iam user and it will have a console password auto generated password or a custom password that you can have i'll do this as of now and click on next and then you can attach it to a group. You can copy the permission. You can attach policies directly. I'll attach the policies directly. So I'll click on that. So please be sure that you take very seriously this account because I'm going to create an account with administrator access. So administrator access means full access. So if you click on that, you're going to see that it will allow everything. It can create anything, destroy anything and do anything. All right. So make sure that you do not push these kind of keys to any GitHub or any SCM. All right. After that, click on next. Uh, this is your username. Please be aware about it. The password would be auto generated required password reset. Yes, uh, you can switch that as no as well if you want. And uh, these are the users right now. All right. Tags you don't have to create. Just click on create user. Now this is the console login. This is a Terraform username and this is the console password. You can return to user list or download a CSV file. I'll do that for now. So I'm going to save it over somewhere and it is done. Okay, now go back to the user that you have created. Let's go inside and then slowly come down. You can take a look at this security credentials here. Go down and you can see this access keys. We're going to create an access key. When you want to create, uh, there are multiple things available, command line interface, local code, you plan to use this access keys to enable application code in local development environment to access your AWS account. You can create this as well. Third party, you plan to use this access key to enable access for a third party application or services that monitors or manages AWS resources and application running outside AWS, other, uh, there can be multiple things. So you can select accordingly. For now, I'm going to choose third party service. I understand next you can give a tag i don't want to give it now create the access key so this is your access key you can just copy it and paste it over somewhere in your notepad or something 
and then you can see this secret copy this and paste it again somewhere I have pasted it and never store your access key in the plain text in a code repository or in code just read all of them because this is very sensitive you can either download a CSV file click on that and you can download a CSV file and you can click on done that is all all right but tomorrow if it get lost uh, this something happens to the user so what you can do is you can click on actions you can click on deactivate once you deactivate this you can click on actions and then you can delete this all you have to do is copy it from here paste it over here and then delete it after that you can generate a new access key from over here all right so i'm going to do that create access key third party service i understand next create access key so i have the key now i'll copy this and save it over somewhere and then i can copy this and download and done so this is how you can do it all right so uh, i'm going to delete that one because because i don't want to make it public and this is all you need to do before we move on to the coding part all right folks so uh, if there is anything feel free to comment below if there is anything you need to understand uh, i would like to answer your question and i will see you in the next one